Welcome back to another one. I hope everyone is doing well. In this episode, we are gonna be shifting some track over to correct the alignment for the new section so that the trains can flow more fluid in the coal mine area. Well, we're also gonna be shifting track over on this corner piece as well as laying some new track here in the new section. All right, so enough talking. Let's go ahead and get to work and get this stuff done as quick as we can because I'm getting really excited about running some trains. Alright, so as I'm putting laying down this last bit of track here on these three turns, I had a subscriber who asked me a question. Why am I laying down painter's tape onto the track or onto the roadbed? The reason for that is I want to elevate the track or in other words, I want to bank the track. So as you can see right here, we have uh, six layers. That's what I've found to be the sweet spot for my layout uh, and for my high speed train. So we have one, two, three, four, five six oh i missed one right there so one two three four five six and i did about a finger space so about an inch back uh, so what that's going to do it's going to give her a gradual bend or bank so that way at the most peak or the apex of the turn the train will be able to be at full bank and be able to hit this uh, turn as quick as you can you'll see that at a lot with the high speed trains even just for regular trains as well like freight trains depending on what the speed limits are for the rail so i definitely had to do that for the high speed i did also for the middle speed so i did it for the two outer uh, the two outer ones in this case it's the inner ones and then over there as well and i know that i did do a video i'm going to leave that link in the description below and also at the end of the video as well on how i did this it's very simple it's a little time consuming but at the end of it it gives a more realistic look especially when the trains are going through there and at the same time uh, with the high speed trains with the bullet trains that i have i can like i said i can hit these turns at full throttle
All right, just a recap of what we have done, minus the mess. All right, so we lay down all the track, uh, all the new track right here where the there's gonna be a mountain, uh, where we have a modern portal entrance right here. Uh, we laid down all the bank turns that's underneath this mess, and also over there. It's the next day, so I'm gonna be pulling all these pins out of here. Dry fitted some of these over here. What I want is for this section here, which is gonna be for the bridge, I wanna try to use full lengths as much as I can. So that's why I brought this track over here. These ones are a little bit recessed, but it's okay. Um, so the full length is gonna come over here. It'll, it'll stop about here so I can get trim back a little bit more. Full length will come about here on that one, trim back more. And then same thing over here, I'm gonna have to trim back more. For now, what I'm gonna end up doing is I'm gonna put a filler piece, a temporary filler piece right here. And that's gonna be for my makeshift bridge. So that way I can get trains running here uh, as I'm still learning on the AutoCAD program and at the same time designing the bridge that I wanna put in here. All right, the next steps here on the layout, um, it's gonna basically be finishing this insert piece, this temporary insert piece, laying the track down, as well as getting underneath the layout and uh, gonna start wiring. I am gonna have to redo some of my diagrams that I did for the layout in regards for the block detection system for the ECOS. I'm gonna have to replan that out uh, I'm gonna do a diagram and then rewire the blocking system because it was from the previous one. I just have to get under there. I'm kind of finicky when it comes to wiring. I really don't like wires all over the place. So wire management for me is very important. And then also wire up this new section here with the bus line and that's gonna be the next steps. That is it for the video. I hope everyone enjoyed it. If you like this kind of stuff, why don't you go ahead, think about subscribing. Don't forget to hit the notification bell so that way you are notified every time we release a video. Also, if you like the video, why don't you go ahead, hit that thumbs up. It does help us out uh, as we're trying to grow more. Until the next time, keep on modeling.